just arrived here at Glenmore River Hip Camp. It's located near Chichester in the uh, Hunter Valley. Yes. From what we've seen so far, it looks magnificent. Yes. Very tranquil. Yes. We've got this fantastic little spot here down the end of the property. We've got the river running on one side with the creek on the other. And this shouldn't be too bad for this weekend. No. No, it should be a so, great weekend. Yeah, so yeah. We'll, uh, we'll show you around and show you what this hip camp's all about. Yeah. But another great place. This is the first adventure we've been on with Max since um, completing the two inch lift and suspension upgrade on the Ram. It's sitting nice and high now. The actual level of the caravan is almost perfect. There is about a 10 mil drop down to the uh, tow bar, so it's sitting nice. The suspension was excellent. Being up near Dungog, as locals would know, their roads aren't really that good. It's, uh, they're pretty bad, to be honest. But with the new suspension, it soaked up all the potholes and bumps quite well. So yeah, very, very happy. It's perfect for what we want. I pumped the airbags up to about 25 psi. I'm not quite sure how to run these airbags. The previous ones were inside the coils and I pumped them up to around 50. But these ones are the um, ex outside the coils. They're bellows type airbags and I did about 25 to 30 psi and it seemed to keep it nice and stiff. Yeah, it was still sort of um, nice and soft to ride in so yeah it was a little bit sloshy coming on the property this afternoon we actually put the ram in four drive to drag it through the property and yeah went perfect so yeah very very happy well we've woken up here at uh, our little hip camp and uh beautiful absolutely beautiful and we've actually got the owner here of this hip camp it's uh, John, and g'day John, g'day. how are you? Good, thank you, yourself? Good, good, so, beautiful area. It is, it's, it's hard to believe. It is, it it's, is. It's, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful, the uh, Glenmore River. Glenmore River? No, it's actually the Chichester River. It's the Chichester River. With a Butterwuck Aboriginal name. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Yep, and it's just flowing here, and what's the creek on the other side? That's uh, Duggan Creek or Mullawuck. Well, the original one. Oh, nice. Yeah. Which is important to know these names as well. So, what, uh, tell us a bit about your property. Uh, it's about 250 acres. I've yep. been growing uh, a bit of a jack of all trades, but I generally grow organic vegetables. We had, oh, nice. at the moment, three years ago, they were going to put a dam in this valley, and it sort of stuffed everyone. But I'll be going back doing some stuff in some greenhouses in the next few months with a bit of luck mm -hmm. on there um what's the name uh i'm used to, used to sell down in newcastle at my farmers markets yep it was a pretty good place mm -hmm. on there um but a lot of things have changed with this pandemic thing that's been going yeah. on yeah but the fort, they told me i've got to live in isolation i'm thinking <laughs> <laughs> i'm already here oh this is paradise <laughs> isn't it so yeah. yeah, but uh, about three years ago, it used to be U Camp, the Australian people yep. owned it, and I got a an email and said, "Would you like to join?" I'm thinking, "What's this?" So I checked them out, and they sent me up paperwork, and I had a meeting with the local council and all this sort of thing because I was primitive camping. Yep. And I thought, well, okay, then we'll give it a try. The first twelve months, there wasn't that many came. There was mm -hmm. a few that did come that come back again. Yep. And then the pandemic hit, and mm. that was up and down like a yo-yo. So to, to be able to say, what's a normal year yet? I've got no, no idea. No, no, it'd be nice to get but back to so those days. But as long as it pays, say, the, the rates and insurances, yep. Yep. that won't be too bad. Yeah. And I've met a lot of nice, interesting mm. people. Yeah. And it's it's been been all right. I've learned to do a few things. I mean, where are you going with the lawnmower? Going to mow, mow the lawn down the river. Yeah. and we'll thinking, this is paddock but now it's become lord and just <laughs> check out this we're in the we're in the paddock but your moles will be in a um i don't know well, your front yard yeah i mowed this 
Um, Eight days ago, but it was that humid of starting to yeah. regrow. Oh, it's perfect growing out. weather, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. With all the rain we've been having, so yeah, so it's not too bad. And we're up here, but there's a lot of places where people can go and do the touristy things for the day trip yep. and everything like that. Yes. Yeah, and Dungog's been turned into a, the push bike capital of Australia. Okay. There's tracks and stuff there, and I've had people that have camped out here and go into town and. And if someone said Dungog would be a push bike place, I thought, nah, not a chance, but things change. It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> and nothing stays the same. No, absolutely. Nothing stays the same. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, uh, we've only been here for <laughs> one night so far. We're about to stay tonight and might actually grab some wood off you too, if I can. Yeah, we'd be able to get some that. wood, yep. buy some wood off you. And we might actually sit around the fire, which is there. Yep and uh, enjoy a beer tonight and just enjoy this beautiful place. So yeah, Chichester. Yep. Well, thanks, John. That's no worries. And beautiful property. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Thanks, mate. Okay, bye bye. While I was just talking to John, you mentioned that there's some platypus up in the uh, river up there. So we might just go and check them out. Yeah, hopefully you'll see one. It'll mm. be good. Oh. So we've sort of been away and we've seen kangaroos and koalas, echidnas. Yeah. But we might actually get to see a platypus yeah. today, which will be very special. Yeah. So, at the moment we're just having breakfast. Got old bacon and eggs. Today we're going to have them on muffins with a little bit of uh, melted cheese. So, great breakfast before a great day. Should be a great day. We ask for some wood. And here comes John. His little tractor. We're so excited, we're hoping to see a platypus. And this is the spot to see them. So yeah. So yes, talking to John. Yes. He was suggesting that this other camp spot that just up the river from where we're staying yes. has this log that yes. hangs out over the river. And apparently, as legend goes, a number of people recently have seen this platypus swimming around this area. So, and apparently it can be seen any time of the day because there's so much um, trees and shade, it doesn't mind coming out during the middle of the day. So it's now around about, what time is it? 10 to 11. 10 to 11, <laughs> middle of the day. But it could be here somewhere. So stay tuned. We could see a platypus. I don't think I've ever seen one in the wild before. No. I've seen them at zoos and things. Yes. I don't think we've ever seen one in the wild, so no. pretty unique. Yes. Unique to Australia. So yes. any of our overseas viewers will see something special. Even our Australian viewers will see something special. Yeah. Um, the Australian platypus. Yes. They're a marsupial. I believe they lay eggs for the young. Yeah. I think they have a pouch, they have a duck bill, webbed clawed feet, they have a bushy tail like a fox, and yeah, pretty unique, so he's hoping. beautiful day in here in paradise we had a fire last night unfortunately the rain came over so that sort of dampened the, uh, the evening around the fire however we just sat here under the awning and just chilled now speaking of which this weekend I've gone very light on with setup this this weekend I've only rolled out the awning and just screwed it down to the ground I do have the anti-flap system and the ribs to stiffen the uh, awning. However, this weekend I've chose to uh, keep it simple. There's no big winds predicted, so yeah, just chill. 
as you've probably seen in previous videos, I do have all the, the screens that we can put up and we even have an annex that we can put up if we're here for a fair while, but this weekend, yeah, just keep it simple. So this is the Glenmore River Hip Camp. It's located here in Chichester, about an hour's drive from Dungog in the Hunter Valley. The road out was pretty good. It did narrow towards the end and it did turn to dirt. However, it was very well maintained. It's a little bit narrow at times. Just drive the conditions and you're fine. So this is one of the three camps that he has here. There are another two camps further up along the river. Yesterday we went to look for platypus. Unfortunately, probably due to the amount of rain we've had and the increased water in the Barrington River and the increased flow, we weren't successful in seeing one. Probably our next trip, uh, hopefully the river will be down slightly and they might be out playing around. So that would be good to see. But yeah, beautiful this area. John, the owner of the property, he comes down around 9 a.m. every day just to make sure everything's all good and if you need anything, it's very helpful. We love it here. There's certainly one to come back to. So we might just start packing up and heading off. And yeah, fantastic. So, pretty good, eh, Nanny? Yeah, it's been a great spot. Loved it. Yeah, yeah. Definitely come back here. It's very nice. Yep. 